I try to put myself in his shoes. Coming to the United States 100 years ago, having the confidence and the courage to cross an ocean where the only guarantee was that no one would look like him. A scientist, my grandfather was recruited by General Electric and ended up helping develop the technology behind broadcast television. A boy from the smallest of towns in India laying the groundwork for one of America's biggest inventions. In 1923, his American citizenship was revoked for one reason only. My grandfather wasn't white. He took his case all the way to the Supreme Court. Years later, we asked him why he continued to fight. He told us he knew that in America, good would always prevail. My grandfather's words are what gave me the courage to run for office. His words are what made me stand up and pass marriage equality in Maryland. It's why I wouldn't be bullied by special interest lobbyists and fought to close loopholes that have saved taxpayers hundreds of millions of dollars. It's why I passed legislation to create the Technology Development Corporation, creating thousands of high-paying jobs. Nearly 100 years after my grandfather's fight for citizenship, immigrants are still being attacked in the same way he was, this time by Republican candidates for president. Few things make me angrier, but I know we will overcome it. Because in America, good prevails. And I'll be on the front lines, fighting with everything I have to make sure it does.